Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome back. I'm so glad you stopped by and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Happy Mother's Day. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you enjoyed this video and I sure hope that you do, leave me a comment below or just say hello. And I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration. And this collaboration is called My Tribute to Mom 2019. And this collaboration is being hosted by Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. I've done quite a few collaborations with her and I'm happy to be participating today uh, in her annual Mother's Day tribute. I will leave a link up above to the last one that I participated in if you missed it. Kimberly is an outstanding content creator here on YouTube and if you haven't seen her channel I will link it down below in the description box. I will also leave the link to the other content creators participating in this collaboration. Now the details to the collaboration is that we pay tribute to a mother-like figure in our lives and um, do it in your own way. You must include a picture and in my case, I have a plaque and florals, which you'll see me put together now. That's why I'm going to use my rain boots uh, as my floral centerpiece. I got these rain boots from Target. I wish that I had gotten two yellow ones, but I got a yellow one and a green one. Don't know why. I think I had intentionally, I had intended to put them in separate locations. So I didn't get a pair, so to speak. And when I went back to get a second yellow one, they were all gone. So. I'm going to do a centerpiece with one green boot and one yellow rain boot. So let's get started. And the picture that I'll be using is a plaque that I made uh, oh, to my mother. My mom, both my parents, my mom and my dad have passed on and I miss them terribly. Uh, it, As I said last year, Mother's Day used to be a bittersweet thing for me because as a mom, I, I, I appreciate the love that I receive from my family, but I do miss my mother. I can't even put into words the way that I miss her. Um, but as I said before, the wisdom that she imparted in me carries me on. So here is my tribute to my mom, my rain boot floral centerpiece and plaque. I'm going to use the two rain boots and create one large centerpiece. Okay. All the flowers that I have here, I got from um, Michael's. My mom was a very strong woman. Um, she was a God-fearing woman uh, in church all the time. So therefore we were too. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of you out there that can relate to that. My father was the head of the household, but my mother ran it. Um, she was the center. She was without a doubt the nucleus of our family. Um, she held everything together. She got everything done. She knew everything. She dotted her eyes and crossed her teeth. She was the quintessential mom. She's the mom that I have aspired to be. She really is. And I miss her so much. Ah, that's pretty. That's the look I was going for. I'm a lot like my mom. I've already told my family what I want for Mother's Day. My mother never le left it up to us to decide what to give her. I mean, you could. If you wanted to just get, take it upon yourself to get her something extra, that's always welcome. But my mom always told you what she wanted. She would tell my dad. She would tell all of us. There were seven of us in my family. And she would tell everybody what she wanted for Mother's Day. But she never left up to chance what it was that she wanted. She didn't. She told you what she wanted. <laughs> And I have to say, I, I have carried on that tradition myself. Yes, I have. <laughs> I've already told my family what I wanted. <laughs> they don't have to guess. I wanted to put some of these back here to kind of break it up. I love these um, sunflowers. 
I don't know what's the difference between a black eyed Susan and a flower. I don't know what the difference is, um, but I was thinking sunflowers. So, if anybody knows, leave me a comment down below. I, I don't know. What's the difference? And then I got some of these things here. I got some of these, and I'm going to have to cut these because I I'm not exactly sure what they are. They did not have a, a name on the tag. It just said summer, summer flowers. So I'm going to cut it. When you're mixing these uh, centerpieces, you um, can remove the leaves off of it because it can get to be too much. Like so far right now, what I have, I'm good with. I, I don't really need any more leaves. Sometimes I use the leaves to make it full. They add a little, a, you know, a little fullness to the centerpiece. Um, but sometimes it can just become really just way too much. I was going to put them together to make one large centerpiece, but because they are both left boots, it just didn't feel right to me. So I ended up separating and pulling them apart and making two separate bouquets and putting my, my plaque in the middle. I bought a tile from Home Depot. I did it like a greeting card. I didn't decoupage. I took decorative paper and I attached it to the front. I added my sentiment uh, along with some um, embellishments that I had from previous projects. It says, Mom, you are missed. I love you. A tribute to my mom. Okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. I like the way it turned out. And if you enjoyed it too, let me know by leaving me a comment below. I appreciate you being here and I would love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. And remember to like and share because it helps my channel to grow. And when you get a chance, check out my second channel, Creative Glam Crafts. I will link that below in the description box as well. And on that note, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!